Hi friends, today we are going to visit Diduru Oya Dam Reservoir, Padania, Sri Lanka, which is one of the largest multifunctional water projects in Sri Lanka. This dam was constructed to improve water management, support agriculture, and supply drinking water to communities. Today we will explore how this massive structure is transforming lives and landscapes. The Deduru Oya Dam is located in the northwestern province of Sri Lanka, near the towns of Hedapola, Kobigani, and Padenia. It lies along the Deduru Oya River, which flows towards the western coast of Sri Lanka. Positioned roughly midway between the cities of Kurunagala and Shilao, the dam is accessible via the Anuradhapura Colombo Highway making it an important water resource in the dry zone areas of the region. Its strategic location supports agriculture and water supply for many nearby towns and villages. The Duru Oya River, stretching about 142 kilometers, is a vital river that flows through the dry zones of Sri Lanka. Before the construction of the dam, much of the river's water was wasted, flowing into the Indian Ocean without fully benefiting the people living nearby. This is where the vision for the Diduru Oya Dam began, to harness the river's potential. The project was initiated by the government of Sri Lanka in the early 2000s, aiming to solve water scarcity issues in the area. After years of planning and construction, the dam was completed and officially inaugurated in 2014. The Diduru Oya Dam has brought a significant positive change to the region. With reliable irrigation, farmers can cultivate more crops, 
improving their income and food security. Villages that once struggled with water shortages now have better access to drinking water, improving health and hygiene. However, like many large infrastructure projects, there were some challenges. Several families living near the construction site had to be relocated, and careful attention was needed to ensure that the dam didn't negatively impact local ecosystems. The Diduru Oya Dam is a gravity dam which means it relies on its sheer weight to hold back the water. The water stored in the reservoir can be released through specially designed gates to flow into irrigation canals. These canals then distribute water to farms across the region. The dam is also equipped with a spillway, which releases excess water during times of heavy rainfall, preventing overflow or damage. This turmeric cultivation is located by the canals coming from Diduru Oyadam. There are a large number of cultivation farms of this nature on either side of all the canals coming from the dam. The cultivations include coconut, spices, vegetables, and fruits. This turmeric cultivations with golden green leaves indicating a rich harvest of this valuable spice. The dam irrigates more than 11,000 hectares of farmland in the dry zone, helping farmers grow rice and other crops year-round. Before the dam, farmers could only rely on rain, limiting their agricultural productivity. This is the main entrance path to enter this great project. The dam, standing about 39 meters high and stretching over 2,400 meters across, creates a vast reservoir that holds over 75 million cubic meters of water. This reservoir provides water for multiple purposes. The water from Dadura Oya also supplies drinking water to thousands of people in surrounding areas. In many parts of Sri Lanka's dry zones, Clean water is a precious resource, and the dam ensures a consistent supply. Daduru Oya Dam's opening monument commemorates the dam's official inauguration in 2014. This simple yet significant structure is located near the dam site, featuring an engraved plaque that marks the completion date and acknowledges the efforts of the government and all involved in the project. Often set on a stone or concrete base, the monument serves as a tribute to the development initiative aimed at improving water security, agricultural productivity, and livelihoods in Sri Lanka's northwestern province. It stands as a symbol of progress in the importance of sustainable water management in the region. During the monsoon season, the Diduru Oya can experience heavy flooding. The dam helps control these floods, protecting villages and farmland downstream. This is a gravity dam, which uses its own weight to resist the pressure of the water. Height is approximately 39 meters. This height allows for effective water storage and flood control. Its length is about 2,400 meters or 2.4 kilometers, which is a substantial width that helps in accommodating the river's flow.
The dam has a capacity of 75 million cubic meters, making it one of the larger reservoirs in the area. Surface area of reservoir is around 2,550 hectares, 6,300 acres, providing extensive water storage to support agricultural and domestic use. The reservoir enables consistent water flow to agricultural lands, sustaining crops during dry spells. Approximately 11,000 hectares of farmland benefit from the dam's water supply. With regular irrigation from the reservoir, farmers in the region are able to cultivate rice and other crops year-round, boosting local food production and economic growth. The dam is equipped to handle high inflows during the monsoon season, which helps prevent flooding in downstream areas. There is a spillway that releases excess water safely, keeping both the dam structure and nearby lands protected from overflow damage. The dam's construction was overseen by the Irrigation Department of Sri Lanka, with input from local and international experts. Dedaru Oya is not only a great irrigation project, it's also a beautiful scenery for travelers, photographers, many species of birds and animals. In the evening, Dedaru Oya Dam transforms into a picturesque scene bathed in the warm, golden hues of sunset. The calm reservoir reflects the sun's descent, casting a soft orange glow over the water and surrounding landscape. Silhouettes of trees and hills frame the horizon, while gentle ripples dance across the surface, mirroring the fading light. The peaceful ambiance combined with the sound of water flowing through the dam's spillway creates a tranquil atmosphere. As the sun dips lower, the sky shifts from amber to deep purple, offering a breathtaking, serene view, perfect for quiet reflection. The Diduru Oya Dam is more than just a structure of concrete and steel. It represents progress for Sri Lanka's dry zone farmers, security for communities that once faced water shortages, and a hope for a sustainable future. With proper management, the Diduru Oya Dam will continue to provide these benefits for generations to come. Thanks for watching. Subscribe our channel and we'll meet with another valuable video.